All right, we are going to begin, though, with uh, what's happening at the White House, where President Biden is waking up from what could be a pivotal day, or what could be a pivotal day. He's set to deliver remarks to commemorate the 75th anniversary of NATO, but the celebration is being overshadowed by politics. Biden is pushing back forcefully against pressure to drop out of the presidential race. Now, he sent a letter to congressional Democrats yesterday affirming his decision to stay in the race. And it came after five representatives publicly called for him to bow out. CBS News has confirmed that at least four others have expressed the same sentiment in private meetings with House Democratic leadership. Some lawmakers weighed in, while others chose to avoid the questions. I've just sat back and said, let's wait. Let's see, let it unfold, give it a couple weeks to mature. Whatever's going to happen will happen. The president has set a course of where he wants to go. I think he has, uh, has earned that right. Uh, he has a heck of a legacy right now with all the service he has. And, and uh, just give it time. I think this week is going to be a, a crucial time. You have a moment to talk about nope, the Biden nope, campaign? No, nope. I'm late. Anything you want I'm to late. say about whether the president should stay on the Thank ticket? you for asking. I'm late and I'm in trouble. Joe Biden's a person who's always put his country first over himself. And I'm going to, and I've never been disappointed in that, in him. He's a patriotic person who will put him, the country over his own needs. And I think he'll do that. Now there's one more thing, though. The administration is also facing some new questions over reports of a medical specialist visiting the White House. Official White House logs revealed a Parkinson specialist visited the White House eight times over the course of eight months and met with the president's personal doctor. CBS News' Ed O'Keefe went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the White House press secretary yesterday about this. So every time he has a physical, he has had to see a neurologist. So that is answering that question. No, it's not. No, it is. It yes, is. You're Dr. asking Kevin me. Kennard, come I to cannot, the White House. But I just, and I also said to you, condition. Ed, I also said to you, for security reasons, we cannot share names. We cannot share names. You can we have to. We have to. Others he would have met with. We but cannot you can share names no, 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 in regards no, no, no. to if we, someone came here. No, in regards we to cannot the share. We cannot share names of specialists broadly, it, from a dermatologist to a neurologist. We cannot share names. There are security reasons. No, we have to. Visitor. We have to protect. Uh, I understand I that. I, I, under, I hear it's you. Right I, there for anyone to see. Ed. So Nancy Cordes is following all of this from the White House uh, for us. So Nancy, one of the things that sort of like caught my ear, if you will, is, is that she said every time the president had a physical, there was always a neurologist there. But we're talking about eight times. And I, I thought perhaps maybe it was a yearly physical. That seems like a lot of doctor visits. But we know that late last night, the president's personal physician did release a letter addressing this. What did he say? Right. And here's the letter. It is uh, it's two pages. It's very detailed. And uh, he basically says, yes, uh, this neurologist did visit the White House, uh, but he wasn't visiting the president. He was caring for other people. I think we tend mm. to assume that because this is a doctor at the White House, that the president must be the patient. But actually, there are uh, hundreds and hundreds of people who go through the White House medical unit every year, members of the staff, um, uh, members of the military who get treated here and there are outside doctors who come in and so according to the president's personal physician this particular doctor this neurologist who does have a specialty in Parkinson's uh, did come to the White House uh, but to see a variety of patients and problems and furthermore uh, the president's first personal physician said that President Biden has not seen a neurologist outside of his annual physical so, uh, you know, even though you saw that back and forth in the briefing with Karine Jean-Pierre saying she needed to protect the identity of this physician, uh, later in the day, the president's personal physician came out with this letter. He said that he had gotten permission from the president and from this doctor to confirm the details that he's sharing. Okay, okay, so that's good news. So the, the other sort of big story is what's happening uh, today. Um, the president is hosting uh, NATO alliance uh, leaders for a three-day mm -hmm. summit. Um, yep. Many eyes will be on him, both for what he says, uh, the impact of what he says will have internationally, but also domestically. This is another opportunity for him to show now world leaders that he's got it together, that he has the ability to lead. How important is this? 
it's important not just for the international audience, but for a domestic audience as well to see him uh, amongst world leaders, talking with them both informally and then formally in an address that he's giving later today. But it's also important to watch what's going on behind the scenes here in Washington today, Anne Marie. You've got House Democrats meeting this morning uh, at this hour behind closed doors. They're going to be discussing all of this. There's such big concerns that the details of that conversation might leak, that the members are actually being told to leave their phones outside of the room. And then later today, Senate Democrats will hold their weekly lunch, and you can be sure that this is going to come up as well. Um, but the White House believes that yesterday was a good day for them. No more Democratic defections. They hope that they have stopped the bleeding for now. Mm, all right, Nancy, thank you. You're welcome.